Hi, I'm Pastor Billy Brath, Lutheran Church Extension Fund Vice President of Ministry Support, here for another ministry moment to help your ministries move forward according to God's will. Since I'm called to serve the Lutheran Church Extension Fund, I look for our materials when I visit congregations, typically finding a section of a bulletin board or info rack hosting our media. My favorite was a 20-year-old pamphlet found in the narthex of a recently reopened Lutheran Church. Not an extreme example, but we have all seen rundown and out of date bulletin boards and displays in narthexes and lobbies. Let's combat that today. This video is the fourth in our series on communication, helping you create and execute a communication plan that overcomes common issues. Today, we will explore bulletin boards and displays. Quick reminder. Gather a task force to help you with this in all of your communication planning. To begin, I want you to erase everything from all of your walls and bulletin boards. Now, you probably can't exactly do this physically, but in your planning with the task force, try and start with a completely blank slate, like you just moved into your facility. First, define areas, walls that are usable for communication. Don't assume what you already have. Instead, what spots are usable? Not a lot of space? Well, mentally create rolling displays and build them if needed after the process ahead. Second, break down what you need to communicate. Start with long-term info. That's directional signs, church mission and vision, memorial plaques, etc. Next, general church ministry info. It's like how to connect, what ministries are offered, basically the information a guest would see to get a solid understanding of what you all are up to and how they can join in. Third, specific ministry information. Groups and ministries that need a place to announce or report, like LCEF, LWML, your youth group, missionaries. And finally, the business stuff. From legal workplace notices to church business info. Now third, Match the categories to the location. Think about the flow of people in and out of worship and during the week. Fourth, decide the medium. If it's long-term content, make it well-designed and permanent. I visited one congregation with a campus map, printed out on paper, taped to a door and out of date, not showing the education wing built a decade ago. Create professional signage or art and place it where you designate. Now, if it's updated every so often, think well-designed bulletin board or displays. If it's regularly updated, think chalkboard or whiteboard or television. This is the info you would refer to do during the announcement section of worship. Finally, and I can't stress this last one enough, set a schedule for updating. If someone isn't scheduled to review an update, it won't happen, which is why we end up with decades old information. Now, one last tip, ask this question. Does this really need to be here? By putting this info or material out on display, are we helping further the mission of this congregation? Don't just fill space just to fill space. Now, effective communication is critical to the life of a congregation. And as always, LCEF is here to help. We can assist you in designing and implementing a communication system. So connect with your LCEF District Vice President or email ministry.support at lcef.org.